Now, 25th of April each year is an internationally recognized day for World Malaria Day, highlighting the global efforts to control malaria and celebrating the gains that have been made. In this report, a consultant pediatrician speaks to PLOS TV Africa's correspondent Jacinta Obuku on the dangers posed by the deadly disease and the need to take it seriously. Since 2000, the world has made historic progress against malaria, saving millions of lives. However, half of the world still lives at risk from this preventable, treatable disease. And looking at the theme for this year's World Malaria Day, reaching the zero malaria target, a medical expert speaks on how realistic is the goal and the deadliness of it. Malaria is deadly, especially in vulnerable um, age groups of children who are under five years of age and in pregnant women. And this is because their immunity is somewhat lower than the rest of the population. So the goal is realistic. Malaria is a preventable disease. And so if we all work together, we can actually prevent the infection from um, spreading. All right, so it's achievable, it's realistic. Plus TV Africa also hear out a cross-section of Nigerians who share their takes on the deadly disease and preventive measures they practice. I lost a friend to uh, acute malaria. Uh, that my friend died many years ago because of 10,000 there. They should make it, uh, it create a uh, uh, very good hospital, cheaper, where someone can be rescued first before they talk about the money. I think the best thing is for us to have a, a vaccine that can deal with it once and for all. You quit all the you know, surrounding within your environment. And uh, of course, take a good water. It's advisable that every month you take malaria drugs. Make sure our environment is clean as much as possible. Uh, sanitation begins with us and not just the government. Just like COVID-19, shouldn't there be similar approach, especially exploring vaccines for malaria? Work is still going on, research is still going on, and um, we hope that in the nearest future there will be one vaccine that will help in reducing the spread of the infection and boosting immunity in the population. Use of correct and proper anti-malarial are also um, advocated. And to do that, anyone who has symptoms of malaria should get a blood test done. This year marks the 15th annual World Malaria Day. It provides an opportunity for the global community to reflect not only on the progress that's been made, but what more needs to be done while urging leaders to step up the fight to get closer to a malaria-free world. Jacinta Ubuku reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.